So I recently went on a job interview and it, it was the, the regular typical job interview where you know you meet the staff, you meet the managers, uh, you meet the higher directors and things of that nature. Um, it, it was real cool, it was real cool. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I had to make a decision. And it ended by me having to send an email out saying, hey, you know, I appreciate you guys for the opportunity, but I don't think I would like to move forward with the hiring process. Maybe some of these things that I mentioned might resonate with you that might be more important than money when considering taking a job anywhere in any career field you're looking to work in. For number one, the culture of the team members, right? And when I say the culture of the team members, is there diversity amongst the staff that you're going to be working with? Um, or, or does everybody kind of sound the same? Does everybody kind of look the same? Me personally, I value diversity. I love working around multiple genders. I, I love working about multiple races, different points of view, because at the end of the day, being around different thoughts and conversations helps me grow as a person. And I don't just want to be around one type of energy and conversation all day because after a while, I'm going to become stagnant, right? Um, another thing with the culture of the team, are these people like relatable to you? like? Do you semi see these people not necessarily being your friends, but would you mind coming in every day, spending time with these people? Because like you know, when you're working eight hours a day, most of the time you're spending more time with the people at your job than with the people in your household. So I want to know that I can connect and that I have some type of friendship with the people that I'm working with. Um, th that's important for me. Because what you don't want to happen is that you that you sign up to work at a job and you're constantly in conflict with the people that you're working around. You're constantly clashing with different attitudes that you just don't fit into. And it's okay, everybody's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but at least can I see value in the people that I'm working with. The number two thing I will say is the workspace itself. Like, what does the workspace look like that you're going to be working in? Is it a cubicle? Is it a dark, damp room in a basement? Is it a place that's fallen apart? Is this building really old? Is it a brand new building? Is, is it a place that's in, in the middle of nowhere? Is it in the city? It matters where you work at. You know, there's a reason why people spend thousands and thousands of dollars on architect. Um, there's a reason why people spend thousands and thousands of dollars on the ambiance in a restaurant. Because when you're somewhere, you want to feel like you're at home. When you're, when you're working somewhere, you want to be somewhere it's comfortable, right? Another thing to think about as far as workspace is like, what about like, is there any amenities? Like, is there a lunch area? Um, is there a coffee area? Like, what does the break area look like? Because like I said, you're gonna be spending a lot of time here. And I ain't trying to say you gotta be bougie, that you gotta have the Keurig and the coffee and the cream are provided. But I'm just saying a nice refrigerator will do, you know. Um, this stuff matters. And the next thing with your workspace is, what does the leisure space around your workspace look like? Can I leave outside this building and visibly feel good about where I'm at? Or am I gonna walk outside of this building and be like, yo, I, I probably should spend more of my time inside. Um, so for me, I'm looking for, is there any garden space? Is there any greenery? Is there any nature around? Is there a place I can walk and feel comfortable? The things I'ma visibly see, do I feel safe in this environment? Right, do I feel safe to lock my car doors or do I have to make sure I put everything in the trunk when I leave? Those things are very important when looking for a place to call your home as far as your job. Number three thing you should really consider more than pay when looking at a job is the job demand. And what do I mean by that? Is this a job where it's gonna be very difficult for me to get PTO? 
is this a, a job that's going to be very difficult for me to get vacation or to take personal time? Is this a job that's going to be restricting my sick days? Is this a job where they're going to be micromanaging if I clocked in or clocked out too early? Because these things exist. There are jobs where you will get points. And the amount of points that you get can lead to you being fired. And the points could be, hey, you came in five minutes late today, but but that's only one point. And then after three months, we can deduct the points. Why being set up from the beginning to fail because of the demand of the job? Um, another thing, is this going to be a job where my presence is constantly being needed? And what do I mean by that? Is it a job? where I'm gonna to have to be in a certain location at a certain time at a designated amount of hours throughout the day. And if I'm in God forbids that I'm not in this area, that this whole entire establishment is gonna come crashing down. You know, these things matter and people really don't think about that. Um, and then the last thing I'll say, the last thing I'll say and I get up out of here is pay increase now i know i said pay is not the most important thing but i do think pay increases pay raises and your ability to move up and pay grade is very important so what do i mean by that will i be making just as much money on day one that i will be making in year five and if that is the case then I might need to be planning my career trajectory around not staying here for five years. Um, when you tell me that there is room for me to take on special projects or to pursue interests inside of your company, does that come with a monetary value? Or is this something that I'm doing out of the kindness of my heart because I love your job so much? I love your organization so much that I'm willing to go above and beyond for nothing, right? So it might not be day one coming in at a certain figure, but it would be nice to know that in two to three years, what is that going to look like? So next time they say in the interview, well, what's your five year plan? You can respond, well, it depends on how much you'll be paying me in five years, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> um, so these are just four things that I think that should be taken into consideration when you are looking at making a job, when you are looking at giving a, a organization your talents and skills. Because at the end of the day, we have to stop looking at jobs from the perspective of, oh, this is something that I need to survive and they hold all the power to, hey, I'm bringing something unique to you guys to make you better. So let me know how that, that, that works. Drop it down in the comments. It's your guy, Dijon the Therapist. I do talk back.